Hello, Ben Mankiewicz with you. Thanks for watching TCM and tonight's lineup of movies about troubled teens. In the late 1950s and early 60s, stories of disaffected British youth sparked an exciting subgenre of films in the UK. Up next, one of the best from 1962, The Loneliness of the Long Distance Runner. Tom Courtney in his feature film debut stars as Colin, a troubled young man. As punishment for breaking into a bakery, Colin is sent to a borstal, basically a reform school. It's run by the governor, played by Michael Redgrave. The governor discovers that Colin excels at running long distances. Jogging, or yogging, it might be a soft J. Eager to stick it to a public school in an upcoming meet, the governor gives Colin special treatment as the young man trains. As Colin prepares, we learn more about the people and events that have shaped the young man's life and sent him down this particular road. Tony Richardson directed The Loneliness of the Long Distance Runner. In the late 1950s, Richardson co-founded Woodfall Film Productions, which focused on realistic and unvarnished stories of working class life. These movies are often referred to as kitchen sink dramas or angry young man films. Richardson emerged as a creative force in the genre, directing films like Look Back in Anger from 1959 with Richard Burton and the 1960 drama The Entertainer, which starred Laurence Olivier. Richardson began to play with this formula in The Loneliness of the Long Distance Runner, employing little devices like speeding up the film, overlapping dialogue, and using jump cuts. It sowed the playful cinematic seeds that marked Richardson's next movie, the 1963 comedy Tom Jones, which won the Academy Award for Best Picture. Richardson shared the success with his Woodfall co-founders, screenwriter John Osborne and producer Harry Saltzman. Saltzman had recently co-founded Eon Productions, which had begun to print money with its wildly successful James Bond movies. This one's from 1962, adapted by Alan Silito from his own short story, The Loneliness of the Long Distance Runner. Today, recognized as a masterpiece of the British New Wave, The Loneliness of the Long Distance Runner received mixed reviews when released in 1962. It was also in the crosshairs of the British Board of Film Censors, which raised objections over the film's moral tone and political views. One member of the board went so far as to call the film communist propaganda, which was a particular criticism of the Cold War era. Movie critics were largely unsympathetic to the lead character, Colin, played by Tom Courtney. Today, Colin can be seen as a kindred spirit of similar cinematic British rebels like the ones played by Malcolm McDowell in Lindsay Anderson's 1968 film If and Stanley Kubrick's 1971 violent satire Clockwork Orange. Coming up, a stylized black and white drama about two brothers who can't escape gang violence. Rumblefish is next on Turner Classic Movies. Next on TCM, Rumblefish, then Wild Boys of the Road, and later, Crime School. Get a degree in hard knocks tonight.